Hi, uh, this project is starting in 1992. At that time, VSA didn't have its actual name. Uh, we were four, five employees, and uh, so just just starting actually. And when the the client called us, uh, it was to give him an opinion about a, a facade that creates some trouble for him. Um, every year, three to five glasses tempered glasses exploded and fell down and when that happens in a court of justice in Lille that is a problem. Uh, it makes a huge noise. I attended once such glass falling down. It is really like an explosion. Um, so the architect, uh, there was no architect, it was an architectural competition but it was mainly a competition for technical uh, consultant or facade designers like we are. The, the idea was to first start analyzing the building and why were the glasses breaking. And we found out that the clamps between the, that hold the glasses together and fix them to the cantilevered uh, glass fins, those clamps were not designed in the correct way. So after some, some time, the, the, some glasses slid down and became self-standing, while others remained remain hung. How can you dismount such a facade that was that was a, a, a really complicated question because if you do it glass by glass for for a contract it was really dangerous if you dismount a self-standing glass you take it from the top if you dismount a hung glass you must start from the lower part so when you don't know you cannot start in the middle right uh, so we just uh, decided that the best way to do and maybe the only way was just to explode all those glasses at the same time and that's what we we did we found a contractor for that and on Sunday morning the whole court of justice was empty only the TV was there because they wanted to to attend such thing and in one second ten ton of glass just fell down on the ground uh, and, and that's it and then we could start our uh, our project the environment of this, this project is very typical. The building from the late 60s is a very brutal architecture, in fact, the, but with really beautiful details. It's a very nice building by Jean Villarval. And the, so our idea was to replace this glass facade by, of course, a more traditional facade because the, the client, he really hated innovation. Uh, he just said, I want a normal facade, just normal. But for us, normal is still something normal that is in relation with the building. So we started thinking, how can you make a glass facade, a traditional curtain wall, but with the minimal minimal visual impact. So we, we started designing a very compact mullion. Um, and to make it very compact, there are different ways of doing. The, the first one is to use steel instead of aluminium. So that's what we did. The second one was to say we use three fixing points instead of two. You can reduce the deflection by, by two. Uh, you can say instead of having different parts that are fixed together, the whole profile is actually structural. So, the, so at the end, the result was in a, in a profile 185 millimeter deep by 80 millimeters wide. We could spend uh, 12 meters uh, without any, any problem. The, um, the nice thing of this is that the, the whole environment is raw materials and raw steel uh, has a problem of corrosion, we know, uh, so we just decided to do it in stainless steel. Maybe a little luxury, but, uh, <laughs> but extruding stainless steel is a technology that uses a French pattern from the late, in, late 19th century. And although very little suppliers use that kind of um, technology. We found one in Germany who said, okay, let's try to do it, but it was a really heavy profile for him. He was not used to that. 50 kilo per meter is it's really huge. Um, so we started uh, designing this, uh, this mullion, um, a little tapered on the, on the inside to even reduce the visual impact of it. And the, the, the construction went, um, went in fact quite, uh, quite well afterwards, but still every small detail had to be designed in a, in a very special way. Yeah. You can see beyond 
vraiment un petit peu de délaminage dans le The mullions are in fact the only frame visible. There are no transoms, it's just a butt connection between glasses. The setting blocks are small triangular pieces of machine steel that are fixed to the mullion. And at the end, the, it's a really very minimalistic impact. Uh, you, you could say that this facade is fully glass, almost. And the, for us, this is really a good example uh, about uh, less is more. Um, yeah, it is hard to do less, in fact. So um, we are happy with this project, and the client is extremely happy. He feels he has a traditional curtain wall, and we feel he has an extraordinary curtain wall. But we are both happy.